हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो इट इज प्रॉब्लम नंबर टू प्रॉब्लम नंबर थ्री एंड फोर आर ऑलरेडी लाइव और टूडे इज कॉन्टेस्ट कॉन्टेस्ट नंबर वॉज थ्री एटी सेवन इन दिस यून सी काउंट सब मेट्रिसीज विद टॉप लेफ्ट एलिमेंट एंड सम लेस देन के इट इज अ सब प्रॉब्लम ऑफ एन एग्जिस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम सो इफ यू हैड सीन दिस that will be a snap for you but if not then you will see it right now uh, it says that we are given a zero index matrix matrix called as grid and we are also given an integer k now what they mean by k grid all that stuff basically we have to find the number of sub matrices that contains the top left element of the grid and that sub matrix matrix sum is less than or equal to k are in what all they are trying to say what all sub matrices are there so for sure this is one such a sub matrix whose top left again my meaning my maksad is my top left corner should be at should be there so this is one this is next again let's say 1 2 3 4 which is already counted 4 then 5 then 6 these are all the sub matrices which i can form so if i show you in this example it will be 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 then 6 then 7 then 8 then 9 sorry then 9 these are all the sub matrices which we can form okay um great that super super great Aryan, so you are saying that I can have for sure nine sub matrices if I if I have a three cross three grid. So for sure, for every I will have nine such sub matrices. Now every sub matrix, which means I have n cross n sub matrices. For n cross n sub matrix, I will have I will have to find the sum of that sub matrix. So by default, okay, I have n cross n sub matrices. For every sub matrix, I if I go and find the sum of the elements of that sub matrix, because a sub matrix can have a size of n cross n. Worst case, so that will be n square square, and I can see the max I can do is n square. Which again, when I say n square, I mean n into m. So I know one thing: I have n into m sub matrices, and I have to actually go and find the sum of. All those sub matrices, which means let's say currently this is one such sub matrix. Okay, this is okay. Sorry, let's erase it. This is one such sub matrix. This is one such sub matrix. This is one such. This is another such sub matrix. So if I go and have to find the sum, which means I have to go and iterate on the entire elements and then find the sum. So I I got to know I have m into n sub matrices and to find the sum of one sub matrix, I have to go and find the sum. That will again take off m into n time. Ah, that's painful. I cannot do it. Max, I can do it. O of m, m into m. That's it. So I have to do something. I have to find some pattern. What's the pattern I can find? You can easily see one pattern. That okay? If you had, let's say, find the sum. If you, let's say you have find the sum of this specific sub matrix. And let's say, if I ask you, bro, can you please tell me the sum of this matrix, this sub matrix now? So you can do one thing. You know what is the ping sum? You know what's the ping sum? You can add simply nine to get the red sum. That's it. Oh, Aryan, that's great. No, that's great. Yeah, bro, that's super great. Let's say if you had known this specific sum, right? I ask you this sum now. So you can say, bro, I know this specific red, chota sum, red small sum. I I know which is eight. I can simply add a two. to get the bigger sub matrix sum oh is it simply adding just one element i'll do it i'll do it bro okay you just saw one part or you or you, you you just saw just these elements what if i ask you bro let's say now right now you have this specific sub matrix sum and if i go and ask you bro can you please find me out this specific sub matrix sum so you will say aryan then it seems like i have to add these two elements i'll say no bro no because when you are finding the sub matrix sum and you have reached at this point which means what all sub matrix sum you have already found out you have found this sum this sum this sum right you have found this sum this sum now you are going and finding this specific sub matrix sum 
right this specific sub matrix sum and all the above ones which i mentioned here are you have already found them so can you use them and find the answer yeah you can how simple that you know that you will simply have to add this element zero because it is a first time it is occurring so what you can do is if Aryan, if anyhow i would have known what is the above a sub matrix sum okay yeah bro you know that the blue portion you know that and this red portion also you know oh bro what i can do is i can simply add this red portion and this blue portion and that's gonna be my answer ah that's true but you are missing one thing this portion is being counted twice so you have to subtract this portion you have to subtract this portion and that's what your prefix sums tells you that simple that if again i am simply going and finding I am simply going and finding my uh, prefix sums in the order itself. Okay, first this, and then simply again, and then okay, f f f in 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 the in the in the very beginning, this is my sum. Then I add a two. Now this became my sum for my next sum matrix. Now I add nine. This became my sum for my next sum matrix. Then I add uh, one in my previous value, which is seven. So now this became my new sum matrix. Now, uh, if I want to find the sum, now if I want to find the sum of this specific, this specific sub matrix, I simply go and ask. I simply know. I simply know this sum. I simply know this sum also, which is stored in here. This sum is stored in here. I'll simply get the sum from both this location. But I know that this portion is being counted twice. So subtract this portion. Subtract this portion. So I'll get this value. So you can see this value is nothing but 7 plus 2, which is, which is if I ask you, uh, let's imagine this prefix sum we are storing in a new matrix called as DP. So I can ask you if this cell is I comma J, this value is DP of I minus 1 comma J, right? This less like this, pre, this previous cell is your DP of I J minus 1. Right, which is storing the value, prefix sum value they are storing. But you have to also subtract the common one, which is this value. So you subtract minus, this is nothing but dp of i minus 1, sorry, dp of i minus 1, j minus 1. This is what you will subtract. And that's how you can simply get the current dp of i, j value. i, j value. So what you have achieved is that if you are at some specific location, so again, I just replicate that for you. This is the value seven. I'll simply say seven plus two. This will be seven plus two plus nine. This will be seven plus one. Then for this specific value, I'll take the above value, right value, and I will subtract that the left value. Again, I'm subtracting the DP values for them, which means the prefix sum values. So it will become a seven plus two plus seven plus one minus seven. So you will say a seven will go away and I will get a plus one okay bro great then for this value again this plus this minus this so it will be seven okay seven plus two plus nine plus seven plus two plus one minus seven minus two seven seven two two gone so i will get simply a plus one here okay simply a plus one here okay sorry but yeah let's simply erase this like this okay now uh, i'll simply go on ahead seven plus one plus two okay simple like for the extreme ones which means for the horizontal and for the vertical ones simply keep on adding no 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 back no up no left simply if it's if it's vertical simply up if it's horizontal simply left if it is in the middle then i will go and ask both up and left and then find my answer which is here it will become a 7 plus 2 plus 1 it will also be a 7 plus 2 plus 1 minus 7 minus 1 so it will go away it will become plus 2 and also see it will become a 7 plus 2 7 plus 2 okay i have not added again for these values add a 5 also which is his value i add a 0 also which is his value i have not added that so that i have to add for sure that's a five. I have to have to add for sure. So this will become a seven plus two plus one plus five plus two. And for sure this value plus six himself. Now for this value, I'll, I can simply get the above value, which is seven plus two plus nine plus one plus zero. One plus zero. Okay. Seven plus two, nine plus one plus zero. Then I can get the left value, which is seven plus two plus five plus two plus six. And I can subtract this because it is repeating minus 7 minus 2 minus 1 minus 5 right simply it will go it will go it will go it will go answer will be 7 plus 2 plus 9 plus 6 plus 2 
सो इट विल बी सेवन प्लस टू प्लस नाइन प्लस सिक्स प्लस टू सेवन प्लस टू प्लस नाइन प्लस सिक्स प्लस टू और फॉर शॉप प्लस सिक्स इज ऑल्सो हेयर विच इज दिस बाई वैल्यू विच इज ओके प्लस दिस वेयर इज फाइव एंड वन गॉन फाइव एंड वन फाइव एंड वन फाइव एंड वन फाइव एंड वन ओके हेयर आई हैव मिस समथिंग इट शुड बी सेवन प्लस टू प्लस नाइन प्लस लेट्स इरेज दिस इट विल बी सेवन प्लस वन प्लस टू प्लस फाइव लेफ्ट वैल्यू माइनस सेवन माइनस टू सो दिस इज गॉन दिस इज गॉन फाइव सेवन प्लस टू प्लस नाइन प्लस वन प्लस फाइव वॉज रिमेनिंग हेयर सो आई विल ऑल्सो एट अ प्लस फाइव एंड दैट्स हाउ कैन सिंपली डू डू अ सॉल्व इट सो यू सॉ सिंपली वन थिंग दिस वैल्यू विल बी डी पी ऑफ आई जे इट इज नथिंग बट योर डी पी ऑफ आई माइनस सॉरी ओके डी पी ऑफ आई माइनस वन डी पी ऑफ आई माइनस वन जे दिस विल बी योर डी पी ऑफ आई जे माइनस वन अगेन दैट सिंपल परफेक्ट सम विच आई एम कीपिंग ट्रैक ऑफ आई माइनस वन दिस विल बी योर डी पी ऑफ आई माइनस वन जे माइनस वन टू फाइंड योर करंट डीपी वैल्यू यू जस्ट सिंपली नीड डी पी ऑफ आई जे सिंपली गेट द डी पी ऑफ आई माइनस वन जे प्लस डी पी ऑफ आई जे माइनस वन माइनस डी पी ऑफ आई माइनस वन जे माइनस वन बट Current value you have to also add, so please add nums of i and j, and that's your d value. Again, your simple task is just check your this sum value because this is your sum. If this sum is your more than or equal to k, simply increase your answer. That is your one such a sub matrix, and because you are simply doing a pre computation at every step. Your answer will be O of m into n. Let's say the code is pretty simple, pretty simple. Uh, firstly, I made a new dp vector again. You can for sure modify your existing nums, but That is not recommended until unless your interviewer wants you to do it. You can ask your interviewer, sir, do you want it? If yes, great. If not, then please continue with making a new. Again, you you can name it as a prefix sum array or a DP array. Up to you. I usually name this as a DP because prefix sum is a very big name. Now, uh, I'll simply want this answer, which is the number of sub matrices having sum having sum more than or equal to your k. So I'll simply have. Okay, if it's a very first element, if it's a corner element, as you as you remembered, if it's a corner element, then simply assign the nums of i, no top, no left, nothing. If it's i equal to zero, then okay, it is this specific array. Then okay, I have left. Okay, I have left. I'll simply check left and then add my nums of i. If it's this vertical first row, okay, I have my top, so I'll simply check my I'll simply check my above one and then add my nums of i j. Then uh, I for these kind of elements I will go and check both top, left, and diagonally just above. So top, sorry, yeah, this is uh, my left, top, and diagonally just above. And then for sure add your nums of i at every step. And that's how you can simply get your sum at every sub matrix which has a top left corner attached. And then I'll quickly have a check if that sum value is less than equal to k. Then simply, bro, increase my answer. That's a good sub matrix for me, and I can simply return that answer. For that, I can simply say my time is O of m into n, and my space is also O of m into n because I made a new DP array. Although, uh, even if you say that, bro, I will take the exist existing array. Still, I will ask your interviewer if he is good with it. Great. If not, then you will have to make a new array itself. I could have modified the existing array and then said, okay, space is O of one. But that is not a good strategy. I'll tell you. So interviewer is saying that you can modify your input array. Cool. Thank you. Bye. Take it. Bye bye. Cheers.